Welcome to Granite State Real Estate. I'm Holly Whiteside, and we're here today to talk about credit, the importance of it, the power of it, how to control it, and what do you do when you need credit healing. Big questions many people don't know the answers to, but fortunately, our guest today does. So welcome, Lisa Marie Doherty. Hi, Holly. Thanks for having me as your guest today. It's my pleasure. Lisa Marie, you and I both have had many people come to us and talk to us about their credit, whether it's been a problem or we ask what their rating is because it's very critical, isn't it? It's absolutely, yeah. yes. So could you give us, first of all, just an explanation of what is credit and why is it so important? Well, let's say that you've been challenged by late payments or um, maybe you've been overspending. Um, the lenders or employers would likely want to know what the challenge was that brought you to that point. Um, and they also will want to know that it's been overcome. So over 90% of lenders, sometimes it's your poten potential employer, um, they're going to look at your credit rating and they're going to want to know what your FICO score is. So mm -hmm. when you hear people talking about a credit rating and a FICO score, they're actually one in the same. Huh. Um, and then um, whichever one they're going to look at will tell you um, how responsible you are at meeting your financial obligations. Now, people are responsible, but they have challenges in life, right? So just because your credit score is low does not mean you're an irresponsible person. Right. It means that you've had a challenge and you need to just work with the credit companies to make sure they understand you're working toward overcoming it. And we have resources to help you with that. So they're used by, the FICO score is used by three large credit agencies and they each gather the information that goes into it independently. Hmm. Um, the scores and the information are often different so each one could have a different score for you between the three and each lender is going to determine what amount of risk they're willing to take so if um, the lender is comfortable with that risk and they establish what's acceptable um, so you might be turned down down by one lender but you might be accepted by a different lender huh. and that's true whether you're buying a house or a car or whatever it is that you might need. Those are the two big ones that usually um, bring people to wonder about their credit. Um, and even if they both see that same score, um, improving your um, credit score is just so important and so advantageous to you. Um, it makes you more able to qualify for loans and it may give you a lower interest rate, uh, making that property or that car more affordable for you. Right. And also some credit is used for um, employers, potential employers. Mm -hmm. So there's other reasons besides purchasing something that would drive you to want a, a good credit score. And I get the sense that even though I may not right now be going for a loan for something, now's the time to make sure my credit score is as high as it can be, which means learning about what it is, checking with all three companies, am I right? Uh, yes, because yeah. the, when, I, when I have um, people call me and they don't know me yet, and it's a very uncomfortable thing yeah. for people to talk about their credit, but it's a very, very important thing to talk to experts about. We can help you. There is help out mm -hmm. there. Um, so the, um, the credit score would be very important if um, you are just now looking at employment, for instance, um, or if you're just now looking at uh, purchasing that car, that house, and it's just a dream, a pipe dream, you know? Yeah. How we research cars, uh, I just bought a car, so I know we just, <laughs> we research and research, I do anyway. I do too. And um, so you're researching, and, and while you're doing that, you need to be working on your credit because it does take time. Right. Um, so once somebody does find something in their credit report that needs fixing, it takes time to fix that. And it could be a few weeks for one person, it could be, a few months for another person, mm -hmm. and it could be years for other people. But don't lose hope because really there is, so everyone's credit can be fixed. Everyone's credit awesome. can be improved. With the right assistance and advice. Yes, and you have to follow that advice. If you yeah. don't take action, then it, nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. So for instance, some of the credit information that is reported is inaccurate. So huh. I had a credit union that I belonged to, and it got bought by another credit union. Well, my assets in my loans were re reported twice to the credit unions under two separate names. Wow. So that was a really easy fix, but it was a really high impact to my credit score. Really? Yes. Yeah. 
I also gleaned something from what you said a bit earlier that it's important to, if you're thinking of getting a loan, to go to multiple lenders because they can yes. get different information. Right. So when I work with clients, um, I always, always, please shop your mortgage product because every lender has something a little bit different to offer you. Right. And there are some lenders that have credit scores that are quite high in order to qualify for their minimum product that they have to offer you. Um, and it's not just about you. So you personally have got to qualify for a mortgage, but also the property that you purchase has got to qualify for the loan itself. Mm -hmm. right. So there are two sides to that. There's not just you qualifying. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people are interested in rehabbing property. Mm -hmm. So let's say they want to do what they call an FHA 203K or some other sort of rehabilitation loan. Mm -hmm. So that would be um, something where you'd have to have a higher credit score in order oh. to qualify for a rehab loan. Interesting. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Um, so can you go a little deeper into what some of the circumstances are that people might be facing um, if they're concerned about their credit score, they've gotten into trouble with their credit score? Sure, yeah. It's yeah. really, uh, when someone's credit fails, it can be well, first of all, it could be they're just, they have no credit because they're young or right. they paid cash for everything their entire lives, including yeah. their homes. Yeah. So they had a low credit score, but not because they're irresponsible. With, right. It's because um, you have to flex your credit. It's like a muscle. You have to keep flexing that. Mm -hmm. So when you have um, the, the, the credit, um, let's say, you are brand new and you're 18 years old. You do not have enough credit history to have a good uh, credit. So if you have mm -hmm. something like, um, you know, there's different ways about it. Maybe getting a credit card um, that's specially designed for someone who's trying to build their credit mm -hmm. in a, in a fast-paced way. Mm -hmm. um, or it may be uh, someone who's been challenged medically. Uh, maybe they have right. unexpected medical bills that came up that had to be paid. Um, there are some ways that you can work to try to get around that situation. Possibly it was an unexpected job layoff. Um, I know I got laid off when I was uh, after 50, and after 50 years old, it's really hard to get another job. So right. there was a time frame where it was difficult for me to um, keep up. Mm -hmm. um, so there's all kinds of um, situations that are usually something that's out of a person's control, getting laid off, medical expenses, right. you can't control how old you are, or um, if you've already paid cash for everything your entire life. Um, mm -hmm. So those are all things that need to be reviewed and addressed, um, and working with a professional counselor is really helpful in, in accomplishing that in the shortest amount of time and the wisest right. way to do it. Right. So these credit counselors, they, how would you find one and how do you know you've got a good one? Do you shop around? Is it expensive to do that? And what do they do for you? How do they work with you? Well, so it's extremely important when you're working or choosing a credit counselor, again, to shop. Um, but to be very, very careful because there's so much fraud. There's right. a lot of fraud in the industry. And you want to make sure that you're not getting scammed because this person will need your um, social security number right. and they'll need to run a full credit report. Now, if you're online and you're running internet reports um, that are free, that is not at all the same thing, right? right? Yeah. So um, you need to go to, I, I recommend going to a professional that also has experience maybe in the mortgage industry. Um, but you go to your realtor and ask for referrals. Um, but a lot of them are free, but they have to be licensed. So there is such thing as licensing okay. for credit counselors. Okay. So I would make sure that you're working with a licensed credit counselor. Good. And they can do things that we can't do. They can talk to people that we can't talk to as your representative to try mm -hmm. to accomplish things like maybe you have something that you need to work out with a particular bank. They're going to be able to um, get to that person that's behind there, behind the scenes right. to help you fix it. They have access. Yes. And they have ways of speaking to them that are heard by the institution where they might not really hear you as a customer, it seems like. Exactly. So yeah. just as in real estate or when I was buying my car, my, I, I had to rely on my brother. Yeah. He's in the business and 
he was my negotiator yeah. and in real estate it's helpful because we're emotional people we are. so <laughs> especially when um, you've run into a situation mm -hmm. and you're not feeling happy about yourself mm -hmm. and um, you're not feeling happy about the situation that brought you there mm -hmm. um, it makes it more difficult for these people to negotiate with you and much more difficult and emotional for you so mm -hmm. I recommend taking the emotion out of it and mm -hmm. hiring a professional less emotional more better results and pr possibly less expensive almost, in the long run. Almost certainly less expensive yeah. and almost certainly it will take you less time. Yeah. So it's funny how um, you'll go and you'll maybe talk to your family or your friends about your situation and they'll say, oh, well, you have to pay off all your credit cards. That can actually be the worst situation for a person. Yeah. And everyone's personal situation is so different. Right. That might work for somebody. But keeping the credit cards open might be the right answer for someone right. else. Right. So. Right. The FICO score is such a gyration of um, different uh, sources of information and the way that they pull it all together and they look at your credit history. Uh, for instance, if you close all your credit cards and you have no credit, all of a sudden you look like the 18-year-old that doesn't right, have any right, credit. Right, right, yeah. So. so don't believe everything that people tell you. For sure, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. You need to rely on professionals. Same thing with every you know, buying a car or important a house. Important decisions. Yeah. Um, the other thing that important, very important, um, one of my friends is a credit counselor and he had a client that came to him because he had a federal job and he had a bankruptcy and in order to get his next promotion he needed a special security clearance. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you're doing that or maybe uh, you might want to work in the banking industry or some financial industry. Secure, um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're going to run your credit report for those jobs. They yeah. might run the credit report for school let's say your children are going off to college. My yeah. son just started, yeah. very proud of him, but um, the, some of the colleges are now running the kids' credit report and the parents. I'm and not surprised. It's yeah. um, something they're gonna have to do to see if you right. qualify for the loans, right. the student loans right. for your children, so. Right, great. Lots of reasons to run credit. We've covered a lot in a short time. Let's see, the high points are know your credit score, don't be afraid to go to a professional. It could save you money and time and allow you to do things in your life that you really want to do. Yeah, shop around yeah. and please be so careful about fraud. I just took a class on wire fraud and all kinds of fraud in the industry. It's worse now than it ever has been and really you don't want to get scammed so it's very important to connect with a professional. Highly recommend talking to your realtor. Your realtor can be the source of many referrals for many different things in your life. Um, we don't get paid. Realtors do not get paid for referrals. That's not legal. Um, and just please just be cautious and careful about who has your social security number and your address and your birth date and things that are very yeah. important and yeah. how you go about it too. Right. Just right. you know something that you hit online um, you know, some of those internet sites are just that you can run free credit reports on. They're mm -hmm. just trying to um, yeah. sell you something. So if it looks easy, doubt it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it shouldn't. Good. It shouldn't really be that easy. <laughs> so right. It's not impossible, but it's not. You have. To, you're going to have to work at it, Holly. That's. You just have to with anything it's in important. life. It's important. It's worth it, right? Well, thank you. You're welcome. That was really a great introduction. I hope people have enjoyed it. And we will look at doing another session going a little more deeper into other aspects of credit healing. Excellent. Um, but this has been a great introduction. Thanks very much for being with us. You're most welcome.